In this chapter, we are going to learn how we can spawn new bots, check which are the strategies that we have available, modify some of them, and lastly, deploy for a few days so that in the next chapter, we can analyze the results. This is the instances page. As you can see at the right, we have this Hummingbot broker that you will need to start before you create any bots. This broker will let us send messages through the dashboard to the bot, like for example, to start a strategy, to stop, to ask for the status. We have a lot of functionalities here and it's the component that let us orchestrate multiple bots. At the left, we have the creation card. As you can see, you will need to pass the name of the container, the Docker image that you would like to use. This is useful if you have a custom version of Hummingbot with custom strategies or whatever. And then which is the profile that you want to start from. For now, as I mentioned, we have only the master bot, but in the future we are going to add multiple profiles for this. Once the bot is created, you are going to see this card that lets you select one of the available strategies. They are the same of the one from the master bot that we checked before. And once you pick one, you can press on start and the bot will start with your strategy. Below this instances page, we have the file explorer page that is very similar as the one that you saw in the previous chapter of the master bot. But in this case, it lets you modify the specific scripts or files of each bot that you create. Now let's do it here. As you can see, I am in the instances tab. I have to start the broker. This process can take up to 30 seconds, so don't worry. And another thing that I didn't mention in the previous video is that probably the first time that you are running the process, you, if you don't have the Docker image locally, the dashboard will pull the image and that can take a few minutes too. So uh, just check the terminal to see what is the, the, the current status. So here, let's say that we would like to create an instance, I call it daemon, and we're going to use the Heimbot, Heimbot latest, it's okay. And as I mentioned, one, uh, the master bot conf is the one that we have to use. So here we press create, and this is going to spawn a new bot from the template of the master bot conf. So as you can see here, we have the bot. These are the files that we have available. So for example, here we can also run, create another one, call it daemon2, for example, and just press create. This should create another instance of the bot with also all the scripts. Yeah, as you can see, we have all the scripts here, all the scripts here. And then if we go to the file explorer, we can check the scripts for each uh, but you can modify the scripts if you want to use another another train pair or whatever you can change this too so well now it's time to run some strategies so we can go here to instances and we can pick one of these uh, scripts for example let's say that we would like to use the balding grid multiple pairs this script actually is like an, a mix between a direction strategy and a grid strategy because it's going to place limit orders if the value for, of short is the value of the Bollinger band is higher than 0 0.7, for example, and longs if it's below 0 0.3, for example. You can configure all, all of these. So that's why we can go here to File Explorer, go to the daemon, scripts, Let's check the one that is balding grid. So let's say balding grid multiple pairs. We can click here, click here. It's going to run in these two trading pairs. You can put the trading pair that you want and make sure that you add to the list of, this is the leverage that you, your bot is going to use. It's an easy way to configure. Uh, but well, if you're comfortable with this and you have connected Binance Perpetual, you can just run uh, this script. That is so what now we can start right the controller. In this case, we're going to use Bowling Grid and we press here start. So this may take a few seconds. 
if you receive this error, don't worry, it's just the communication. It has a timeout of five seconds to don't block your the execution of this. As you can see, the status is uh, not so standardized right now. We were going to improve this a lot with a specific command, but the bot is running. Also, we are able to stop this bot and also we can stop the instance like this. And this also may take a few secs uh, to do it. Uh, but then we're going to see that instance here. In my case, I'm going to run one of the strategies. Probably it's going to be Demon P3. This is a mix between market making and Bollinger. Uh, so well, later on, I can explain a little bit more about that. And in the next chapter, we're going to analyze the results using the strategy performance.